Lesson 4-6, Kramer's Rule. So let's uh, show you how Kramer's Rule works. Because I could just show you the formula. What's the point? It's a very good application of matrices. Let's uh, eliminate for the variable y. So I want to get rid of y and multiply d up here and negative b down there. And yes, you could do it a little bit differently, but that's the way we're going to do it. Let's multiply all of that by d, multiply all of this by negative b. Get a d x plus b d y equals d e. And here I get negative b c x plus negative b b d y equals negative b f. These cancel. I get a d x minus b c x equals d e minus b f. Factor out the x. a d minus b c equals d e minus b f. Divide. x equals d e minus b f a d minus b c so now given those variables in the two systems in the system of equations i can just program them in subtract them out but if you look closely if i took just the first one just the uh, coefficients a b c d and said give me the determinant i'd get a d minus b c that's right here and this is the confusing part if i said replace the e and f with the x values uh, for the x coefficient. So put e and f in here where the x's are. Found the determinant there, I'd get e d, pardon me, put it in alphabetical order, d e minus b f. And that is right there. So those are determinants. Notice if I want to find the x value, I replace the x coefficients. That's these. You can do the same thing for y. I'm not going to work it out. I've given you the answer here below. And it might be hard to see, but that's it. They're right there. So here they are typed up. We have AC, BD. No problem. It's on the bottom. It's on the bottom. Take the EF, plug it in for the X one, and that goes here. Take the EF and plug it in for the Y coefficients, and that goes here. That's how I keep it straight. So, do a couple examples. We need the determinant of 5, 2, 7, negative 5. And we want to find the x value. So actually, let's put that on the bottom and just do it all at once. x equals 5, 2, 7, negative 5. And 13, 13, 7, negative 5. Negative 65 minus 7 times 13. Negative 156. Negative 25 minus 14. Negative 39.
blasting it through on the calculator, I get x equals 4. Same thing for y, except I've already got the bottom. Spacing is an issue when working with matrices. So keep the 5 and the 2, 7 and the 13s, get 39 over negative 39 equals negative 1. 4 comma negative 1. Now I should check it in both equations. 5 times 4 is 20 minus 7 is 13. Check. 2 times 4 8 minus 5 minus minus 5 is 8 plus 5 is 13. And then this new technique for showing that I've double checked, which I created completely by myself. There's no person on the face of this earth that I, I stole this idea from. I put another check here. And that, that shows I've double checked it. I'm going to patent that idea. See if I can make a lot of money off that idea since it is unique to me. I uh, would recommend trying it again over here. You might want to come up with a cleaner way to do it. For example, just knock out the main determinant. 1, 2, negative 4, 3. And just put it up here. 3 minus minus 8 is 3 plus 8 is 11. But do the rest of it on your own. Pause the recording, or just do it after I do it. I don't care. 1, 13, negative 4, 3. Over 11. Fifty five over eleven equals five. Y equals one, two, one, thirteen over eleven. Eleven over eleven, five, comma, one. Five minus four is one. Ten plus three is thirteen. Kramer rule also works with the 3x3 three three. that's beyond the pale of this course. We're just going to stick with our 2x2 two two for the time being. That's it. Good luck.